Ahanez and Dibu. This topic now, it was this morning as I came here that I had it. That Ahanez and Dibu said they are going to apologize to Fulanese for 1966 revolution. He resolved and carried out. Who are these Ohanes and Dibu? Who considered them to go and speak for Biafras and Igbo people? Why do they want to go and apologize? Which means they are accepted that they, Ohanes and Dibu, are guilty, not Igbo man, not Igbo people. You understand what, I, what I'm saying? This is why our Prime Minister has spoken out that uh, Ohanes and Igbo are crying. That people are deserting them. They don't have followers anymore. But Ohanese is crippling. Ohanese is falling. Then who are these Ohanese going to apologize for the killing for 1966? Okay, if Ohanese and Igbo want to apologize for January 1966 revolution, we will Ariwa and Wendy Allah. And finally, as a whole, come to apologize on the same coup, 19 July 1967, Northern coup. We don't come and apologize to us. We have Northern coup. We don't come a counter coup. Look by Maritana Mohammed. Executed by Dinka. And Jack by the one. It was lit by Maritana Mohammed. Executed by Dinka from Adokuta military barrack down to Lagos. Hijacked by the general, hijacked by the one. Rounded it up by Kilini Rossi by Tefo Danjuma in Ibadan. Who will come and apologize for we Biafra, for we Igbos? 200 and military Igbo extortioners. The kid in the kid in uh, 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 by Nigerian Nathan Ku, who will come and apologize for those people? Who will come and apologize unto us for not entering St. Joseph Catholic Church on Sunday and kill everybody, both the pregnant women, both the second uh, 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 babies, kill everybody on that very faithful. Sunday, who will come and apologize to us? Who will come and apologize of civilians they killed in the north, of the one they killed in the west here? After they killed that have the north up, they come in the west here, start killing. Who will apologize to us? Who will apologize on genocide war? The one we need from 1967 to 1970. We are going to apologize. Ahanes and Bibo are going to apologize. As I heard, they are going to apologize to the North or to the Flanes. It wasn't a Bibo coup. It was a revolutionary. Even Uzogi himself that uh, hijacked the revolution and destroyed it was among those people to be killed. They pursue him here and there, pursue him there and there, until finally he runs to military containment teacher and mobilized them. People so just there against their brother. People so just use them, he doesn't use them to punch the people in the West here that are coming to kill him. Because the, the Lagos fell, the capital, he does took over the power. And manipulate everything. Even when Zogu want to march Nigerian army, whether Igbo, whether Aousa, whether Yoruba, whether Flani, all the whole Nigerian army in the north was under control of Zogu. Zogu want to march them down here to Lagos to finish Hiroshi before intervention come from here and here. Say stop. It will be army to army. Stop. And Hiroshi took over. As Nigerian head of state.
not the Afar head of state, not the head of state. With Nigerian army uniform, not the Afar army uniform, not the army uniform. Then why is it uh, in Ibo Manku? This man that wrote uh, five majors, one we struggle, one, one we strike, five majors, major Adomo, Adomo Lege, Adomo Lege, or so. Please forgive me for the number of the name where. He is part of the people that lead the coup. He is part of the people. He is part of the people that lead the coup. People in Lagos here. Konele, Konele, Vita Banjo, a Western man, was part of it. This man, the late Major General Hassan Kassina, when he was major, although he did not plan the coup, he don't plan it. But when he heard about it. He joined in Zogu. Most of the people in Zogu used to execute the coup in the north. But a lot of soldiers, none of them said no. Then why did it come to be Igbo Man Kuhu? Eh? That's not what I'm saying. Why is it Igbo Man Kuhu? Why would the only thing apologize? Why? This is why I call them Ohanes and you believe them. This is what I call them Ohanes and you believe them. They don't understand. Look at their leader, their president general, half as fat as he is. Look at when he talk. Look at the vowel of his mouth, voice. It does it have to do with uh, his leadership role? Huh? Does it have to do with his leadership role? Of One, Ohanes is a fake social cultural group in Ibo land. It's a fact. The one presenting Igbos is fact. Who is presenting Igbos? Our IPOD organization movement. That one representing their friends. Not the Hannes and Igbos. Not the by international community. Not the world. How, 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 how can you recognize person who is beating you? You raise your hand up and say, This one is beating me. How can you say so? They cannot say so. Because IPOD is beating them. You understand? Number one, and another thing is this: these people that call themselves Ohanes and Dibo, may they have been bought over. The prime master have given them huge amount of money to come and say that thing, so that to show that we Igbos we have accept duty of what happened in Nigeria's case. They will be paid money. And if they do so, they have procured the guiltiness upon their head, not upon the head of their friends or any individual ego man. You understand? They might have been paid money to do so. Or it's a propaganda to rubbish ego integrity in general. To rubbish their integrity in general. But they have said that they are good. They are Duty. These are this on top. Until we find out the reality, but I am sure our next people will do it. No. I am sure. Why do you say no? I am sure. Then I will tell you why I say I am sure. I do not the one who plot part of the people who plot to kidnap Nam de Kalo by the promise of British government and Nigerian government, including Flame people that if you bring them the Kalo down we will give you Igbo presidency in 2023 and Igbo politicians Igbo traditional rulers and Igbo wealthy men who believe that without Nigeria they cannot be this is why I said they can do it I don't know the one who placed 100 dollars upon the head of Sam Monetta to bring him down to Nigeria without getting their life. This is why I said they can do it. When they see money, they forget themselves. And they are women. They are not men. Are women. People governors, people politicians, from Senate, rep, the local government councillor. They are women. They are not men. Women is not a woman that have a heart. 
You men that are only good on bed, that's what they are. That's why their pay masters are fucking them front and back and have the light, pushing them and have the light. If they are even women, they're some women, like the women of Jiku send them to go and finish the Nigerian army. When they want to send them at the beginning of the war, they want to send them to go to Biafra land, to go and prevent the Biafras and kill them. But before they will land at the Lugu airport, Biafra have left ambush against them and wiped them off. The one they said, we don't send Nigerian army. What we send is Nigerian police. Or you could answer him. If you send Nigerian police, not Nigerian army, then we send Biafra women to go and finish our police. So, other army, other police, Biafra have finished them. And it wasn't Biafra army. It was Biafra ordinary civilian women that finished them. So, this, so, Ohanes and Bibo are not worthy of those type of women of the Christian that time. They have no strength. They have no liver. They have nothing. They are just collecting themselves. Ohanes and Bibo are stealing money from their pay master, Fulani. This is why they want to go and apologize. So that the Fulani will have fishing party on them. Start giving them the scrum that fell from master's table. Fully top of their master. Not for a little finish. Which commonwealth? Nigerian commonwealth. How many hundreds of people have for you? Work? How many flannels have for you? Work? Count it. How many traditional rulers in Gaza land, both sides of South East, have for you? Work? How many traditional rulers in the North have for you? Work? Count it and tell me. Nigerian commonwealth. Who think that there's Nigerian commonwealth? One, a man from Jigawa. Come out and boast openly that the only in Bayasa went to Jigawa. But if it's Major Commonwealth, why should all you belong to Jigawa? All they do not own, all that is not in their land. The land is not polluted, the land is not destroyed. But the oil belong to them if it's a part of Nigeria. Or her name is a new boy, we go and beg in the name they're going to apologize so that they will continue to eat the scum that come for the master step. Maybe they have broken because they are jobless people. They have nothing to do. They are broken. They don't have money to eat again. They went to inform of this to, 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 to turn the heart of their pay master Fulani to give them more money. Maybe this will be the promotion. Increment of salary. Whether you like it or not, Fulani are the owners of Nigeria. Whether you like it or not. Fulani are the power broker. Once some time, this Fulani are the power broker in Nigeria. This is why, in the plot number in 1980, when Shagari becomes Nigeria president, they took one to rule. One to rule. Remember, I was in Meto. Was in Meto from the Dubri that time. I forgot his name. Every time he be under GN. G GNPP, Great Nigerian People's Party. I forget that name. Always, you always challenge Shagare and NPN. You always challenge Shagare and NPN. One day Shagare come out and told him that whether he likes it or not, Shahu Obrono Empire is under his Wanderfodian Caliphate, whether he likes it or not. But the from all said, the Fulani are not ruling the North. Whether, if they are not able to rule the North, they will the North. Whether he likes it or not. Fulani are born to rule. They are the power broker in Nigeria. We say that they say we rule, we rule. How, what is how Tulubu enter? Because they put Tulubu up. They put Tulubu in power. Yes, Quite sure. Look at this again, man. You go with the election. See how we enter. And here they are pushing away. So Fulani are the owner of life. Let us say the truth. Let us not deceive ourselves. Fulani are the owners of Nigeria. But the document they written with the British before the amalgamation of Nigeria. British and Niger Fulani have document that you are the owner of Nigeria. When you colonize Nigeria, if you hand it over to you, which is what they are doing now. They are British support them in whatever they are doing because they have written to them. And this is what Biafra want to leave. We don't want to be part of Nigeria. Because we are this some of the soil. Therefore, we have existed before Nigeria. And you cannot focus Nigeria. And uh, allow 
Personally, we will be a sojourner to us, to rule us. No, it cannot be, my brother. The affair must go. The affair must go. You said that until he goes and Yoruba come together, Nigeria will still be in the same condition that it is now. When will Igbo and Nigeria come together? Igbo Yoruba. Igbo Yoruba, Igbo Nigeria. We will meet each other. This is the problem I will want Zeke has. Yoruba is a nation of his own. They are first a nation of their own. You cannot force us together as we force ourselves to Nigeria. And see where we are. Yoruba is wise. They first are wise. Then we will rule each other. This is where we want to go. Be first to be first. What do you want to do? What do you want? I don't want to add one. Let us leave. Leave and let us leave and let us leave. Not die and let us die. No. We therefore we don't believe on that. We believe and leave. Leave, let us leave. This is why Gowan told Ojip, I mean Ojip told Gowan in Aburi. Jack, is it of us is it to be together? Is it of good that we separate and leave? Is it of us to be together and die? Is it of good that we separate and leave? Jack said, which is Gowan. Yes, and my dad, you are right. If you do it in Naburi Accord, you are right. He said, before to live together and perish, let us separate and leave. Okay, thank you very much. I am Mr. Paragedi Okokonde, the Republic of Biafra. He is a member of the and he is a member of the government of Biafra. Long live the Republic of Biafra. Long live the Republic of Biafra. Long live Simon Epa. And the Finland people that accommodate him. God bless the name of them in Jesus' name. Long live Donald Trump and America. <laughs>